welcome to Breaking Negro News. Trade to B couldn't be here today because he was getting his knobs live over the weekend and could not make it into the newsroom. We have a huge interview debate between Frito, Era 6, and King J over a video that was put out by Frito talking about Thrust Nation in its entirety. Now the video sparked so much conflict that the comment section blew up as Era 6 had been commenting and going back and forth on Twitter and everything with the video. We sat these three gentlemen down in an interview exclusively on Negro News to talk about what went on in the video and the entirety of Thrust Nation. So, 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 do you, so do you wanna, so do you wanna, you wanna argue about what you said on your video? What, what, yeah, what that, are you that's talking actually, that, That's the first thing I said. Okay. All right. on the tape, so look, quote me. All right, so look, so look, man. At the beginning of the video, you said you don't give a shit about the Call of Duty community, all right? But you clearly made commentaries before you started doing vlogs and all these podcasts, okay? So you were a part of the community, you cared about it, and it wasn't giving you that much attention, so you just said, hey, fuck it, I'm gonna do something else, right? <laughs> I mean, you can laugh, I mean, that's, answer the question, bro. Okay. I, I believe. First of all, I don't this, know if he this was, is an ad hominem, hominem attack. Just, just so you know, like, so you're you're doing the same thing to me that you were doing to Keem because you're trying to make these conspiracy theories of like, what is his motivations? What is Keem's motivations? Maybe he was trying to build thrust and lie to everybody, and then all of a sudden now there's this big upswell in the community, and now he has viewerships for the Thrust Nation. What's gonna be oh, all this? this I, I already, I already have a real. Dude, I had a I have podcast. A I got five thousand views. How many How many views does your podcast get? Across the Honestly, platform. that's not even, that's not I, even no, my podcast. Tell me, tell me if I'm, I'm failing in the other things. I've been, got, what are you talking about? about? No, I, 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 you want to go me answer your fucking question or not? I don't didn't like COD anymore, so I stopped posting. The game sucked. So that, they get that's the fuck out, dude. Point. They get but the fuck out of COD. Why are you making videos about the COD community, community when you don't want anything to do with COD? Yeah, I'm not a politician. I make videos about Trump. I'm not a feminist. I make videos about feminism. Team star. King Jay, King Jay, hello, King Jay, 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 when you yell, people can't hear you, so you need to calm down. I talked shit about small bit. commentators since I had zero subs. I've had the same attitude, the same mic presence, the same everything since zero subs to now. So don't even don't even come at me with that. My podcast was successful before it came even came. We were already making money. He came and we turned it into something new. I've I've criticized Keemstar. I'll talk shit to Keemstar's face. I did, and then he asked to join our show while I criticized him. So uh, you want to say dick right? Say whatever you want, but you don't have. Those are just claims. That's not an argument. You're again this conspiracy serious nonsense where you're like, I'm gonna draw these lines and come to a conclusion. You have no evidence. So again, I'm still looking for these arguments. Like, oh, you're not. Your argument is to silence me because you don't think I'm part of the community. Well, guess what? I know who fucking ends in the community. I'm friends with these people. People know who I am. People want to hear my opinion. And they said, hey, Frito, man, I love when you make co commentaries about the COD game. I'm not even making it with gameplay because I just did a quick vlog about my opinion. So really, it's a vlog video about the YouTube scene. I can make whatever the fuck I want. Clearly okay, so do you want to silence me or not? I can look at the video and see that it's a vlog. You don't have to yeah. explain to me that that shit is a vlog. So I see you talking. Point, I see the, the only point you could make is to silence me. Is that what you want? You want me to be quiet? You, you not oh. want to attack my arguments if you want me to. Okay, well All then. Right. This is a yeah. new point, a buddy. This is a terrible let's, argument let's, for let's you. Talk about, Strike one already. Right. You're already failing. All right, let's talk about what happened in the video. So if you guys had some problems with the video, now well, is the time the to point it out. That to he freedom. says that small, irrelevant YouTubers don't deserve to be seen. Now, he could say whatever the hell he wants, but he doesn't dictate shit. Anybody has an ability to go onto YouTube, make whatever shitty YouTube video that they want to, and get however many fucking views that they get. This is about fun. It's not about money, okay? People can go on and do what they love to do, okay? Frito, you don't have a fucking say in that, okay? You can I, I say, agree oh, with that. I mean, you, you, you're, not, you're not representing my opinion, actually, but, you know, you can, you can keep going if you want. But that's not what I said, and that's not what I think. That's what you said, bro. So, Frito, Frito, what right, did you he say? He said on the video, most of you suck. No, 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 no,
what you people do, and when I say you people, I mean those with intelligence lower you than mine. You people! <laughs> no, uh, not, not like that. But you oh, you oh, dumb Jesus. commentators who, you know, can't think past oh. the next sentence, like you're playing chess, but with, like, you know, blindfolded or something. Yeah. Right, you're, taking that that like you. you're taking that statement that I said. You're taking that statement I said. You're taking that statement that I said out of context. It's an if-then situation. I'm talking about people who are complaining that they're not going to get a free handout from some community channel. Which, by the way, even on TSG, you get pennies. You get you get n almost nothing. So, like, if you want that type of situation where a community channel exists where there's a few thousand viewers and everybody gets a little bit of nothing, that's fine. You can have that perspective. But to be mad at somebody else who wants we're to We're not mad at him. See, that, that's a perspective you don't understand. We're not mad at him, okay? Did you see the tweet or the uh, DM that I had with Keem on my video? I know you watched that parody. So did you see that? I was very cordial with him. I told him what our opinion was, right? And what did he do? Six, you have oh, been. Oh, hey, talk about dick riding. Talk it, about it, dick riding. We talk about DMs to Keemstar. Don't even get me fucking started, Error, because you know the shit you said. Oh, Keem, check out this video. Oh, yeah. you know, I really no, respect I, And then you make yeah, a video talking about how Keem's like one of your top YouTubers right next yeah. to Thunder, the guy that you frame on your fucking wall. Like, holy shit. Then all yeah. of a sudden, when he doesn't yeah. want to invite you, then you start talking shit. Man, that's fucking talking fucking shit. Crazy. It's I almost as if you changed shit. based on new information. <laughs> I, I didn't fucking change. I've talked the same shit about Keem Stark years ago as I do now. It's the same fucking thing. You're the one who changes based on new I shit, did. bitch, because what you weren't getting any help. This is what I said about Keemstar. I said that I don't like the guy. I don't agree with most of his opinions. However, I like how he does business. That's what I said in that video. You know what the fuck you're talking about, bro? That's all I gotta say. You said most of you suck. You have bad mic quality. You barely can talk. You're not entertaining. And you're basically, your ideas are not good enough for Thrust Nation. So if somebody has a bad microphone when they first start doing YouTube, they shouldn't be doing YouTube. They should just no, like- No, 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 no. See, again, again, you're not listening to the if-then statement. You have to hone your craft. You have to get presentable. You have to get skilled at what you're doing before people should. You're putting the cart before the horse. You're saying like, man, it would be great to have some handouts and shout outs and help and collaborations and all this other shit. You have to build the build it and they will come. If you build something, if you have right. an opinion, you have a style, you have a commentating uh, approach, you have new ideas. If you have that, it's a fucking myth so, that so you're not gonna so, get help. So you, you will get help. Small commentators in general, you, or just people that's in that podcast. You keep asking, you can let me talk. I'm talking no. about people who expect something before they put in the work. Before you have any respect, exactly. you think you're you, you somehow deserve help. No, it doesn't work that way. That that's not what you are. That's not what you're, but that's not what you said in, in that video, though. That's not how you, you watch it again down. because you're obviously confused. I okay. said I, I brought that context up first, and then I said it's an if then statement. The whole thing. You said this is basically a job. All the positions are filled. If you suck at this shit, motherfucker, quit. I mean, that's, that's kind what of what it sounded like. Now, you can elaborate. Well, that's exactly on that. what I said. But if you, if you want the job of doing it or the hobby of doing it, that, that's what I'm saying. The success in all that and getting lots of viewership and recognition, that's like. You're trying to do it legit. You're not trying to do it as a hobby. If you're trying to do it as a hobby, then you do it on the weekends, make one bit a week. You're not really like trying. You don't really care if many people see it. That's that's a hobby. But if you're expecting to have like this ingrained community that's feeding back into itself and helping the small guy, well, there's there's not enough to go around. Ultimately, that's the truth of the matter. That stem between this beef between you and Era Six. That's what needs <laughs> to How many hours do you have? Action. I don't know. This dumbass leaves paragraph long comments saying shit about me and my co-host long ask it, it, miles and miles of bullshit and then when we ask him to come onto the podcast to defend himself he backs out twice and makes it seem like it's a victory that i blocked him on twitter because he's annoying i don't understand look, dude no I, that's like, not what it was look it's all exactly separate. Happened. everything it's i just said is true, by the way it's not what fucking happened okay all right, Eric, six, here's, what, here's what fucking happened. These guys feel like like I go on. Okay, these guys feel like I go on their channel. I'm like, hmm, what can I say about these guys? I really want to argue with them. So let For me. Years and years, you've done that. Okay, so no, what I do is I debate what you said. Okay, in your video, in your case, we started off on Twitter. I, I, I'm, I think it was something about religion. I'm guessing. Uh, I put my two cents into it. You talked about something about Jesus jerking off in your fucking closet like three or four times. <laughs> all right. And so I still still, hey, I still debated the whole situation. You then called me a troll 
and then you blocked me on Twitter. That was pretty much- Seems reasonable. Up. Seems reasonable to, to block a troll, someone who doesn't seem yeah. to be following Yo, any rules of troll. logic. It's which not... you do time and time again. You don't follow any rules of logic. You have a completely different well, standard for one person than you do another. Logic. You judge somebody for- you judge somebody as a hater, you judge them as racist, you judge them for their view-like-dislike ratio, but Freedom, then when those I'm same exact things go towards you, You're you all of a sudden switch I'm everything about. I'm not saying about. your name in videos, though. I never said your fucking name. It was when Lawler uh, sponsored your LCP show, and then that's when I made a video about it. I never talked anything about you He had already invited you, you to the show, and you've already backed out by the point. Listen, I, I, I don't give a shit, dude. I don't give a shit. We could be here all the fucking day. I can pull up shit that you've said in moronic stuff if we want. Like, this could be lots of fun. Well, but I really, I wanted to talk about that video. Thing. Let's just be fucking honest here. I could do the exact same thing to you guys. Go, do it. Do it now. Do it now. Because right, anything I've right said, now. I guarantee you'll look like fucking Biblical Reaper reading the jokes about yeah. himself. Yeah, I'm loud. sure. Yeah, I'm sure of it. That's yeah, how sure fucking foolish you look. Yeah. Anything else? that you guys had a problem with that you wanted to bring to Frito's attention while we have him. All right, is there anything else you got to say about it? Look, I mean, for, when it comes down to it, like I said, the only thing I got to make my point across is not, it's not an attack towards Thrust Nation or, or what Keemstar is doing. I don't care what fucking word you use. It, that's it's such not. a petty it's thing not. to talk about. I don't care what fucking word you want to call it. That doesn't make a difference to me well, at all. I don't think any other person... Yes, I understand, just... but we're here to talk about it, right? So that's that's what I gotta go ahead and get across. It, it, it's it. No one no one thinks your hundred viewed video was an attack, dude. We're making fun of your perspective, right? We're not like defending. <laughs> we're we're, we're it laughing. Doesn't we're it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Guess what? Okay. Guess what? Those those nine hundred people that viewed that video or whatever it was, because it's not a hundred views. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Those uh, I was talking about the podcast, that... by the way. No one was talking about you. It's not even my podcast, bro. It's not even my yeah, podcast. Not, not my podcast. Listen, I don't care whose podcast it was, dude. Look, I, I can't keep up with all you little cockroaches look, coming look, on the It doesn't matter. Don't, could you please it give me the benefit matter. of the doubt, right? Just give me the benefit of the doubt that I don't fucking know who's in, in with who. Obviously, okay. I'm talking about that, right? So, again, like... I apologize, Mr. One Away. I, I, clearly, you're trying to steer this, and Era Six, being the moron, moron he is, is having yeah. trouble staying on topic. So, I, I don't know what else to do. I. Good luck. As Good you luck can see, you. it was such a heated debate that all three parties left the chat and did not return. We would like to put their links in the description. Go on over to their channels, and if you like, please subscribe. These are great guys, and thank you guys for being on Negro News and doing this interview exclusively for Negro News. I'm your host, One Away, signing off.